If you're looking to relocate to Florida and you got your eyes set on Pompano Beach, you're gonna wanna know the pros and the cons of living in this city or you might make a pretty bad decision. What's going on everyone? My name is Paul Blasco. I'm a local realtor here in the South Florida area. And if you wanna get in touch with me for anything real estate related, my phone number is gonna be right here on the screen, but you can also book a call directly on my calendar with the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first pro we're gonna go over is the cost of living. Now the cost of living here is a pro because we're about 10% less than Fort Lauderdale and the cost of living overall is generally lower here. If we look at the median sales price in Pompano Beach, we're at about $419,000 for a single family home. Overall, when you compare Pompano Beach to Boca Raton in Fort Lauderdale, we generally are a little bit lower in cost of groceries, gas, and just overall utilities. All right, the next topic we're gonna go over is the crime in Pompano Beach and this is definitely gonna be a con. Now, the reason that this is a con in Pompano Beach is because we do unfortunately have a high crime rate. Now, there is definitely a high number of violent crimes and a high number of crimes overall when compared to the rest of the state of Florida. If you look at this chart of the violent crimes per 1,000 residents, Pompano Beach is about 7.29, and that's compared to the rest of the state of Florida at 3.92. If we look at property crime per 1,000 residents, Pompano Beach is about 27. Now, compare that to the rest of Florida, we're at 17 and a half. While the national average is 19, we are definitely a little bit over the national average. While I do say crime is definitely a con here in Pompano Beach, I have lived here in Pompano Beach a majority of my life. So while crime is a con, I have never walked around Pompano Beach and felt like it was a violent or unsafe city. Overall, I believe Pompano Beach is a pretty safe city when you're walking around in your day-to-day -day life. I've been here basically most of my life in Pompano and I really have never felt unsafe while just doing normal tasks like shopping, walking around, taking the dog for a walk, or hanging out with the family in the park. It's never really felt like a violent city or unsafe city, and I have not been personally a victim of any violent crimes. So while the stats do lean toward violent and somewhat unsafe, it really doesn't feel like that. And I believe most of the residents here in Pompano Beach feel the same way. All right, well, now that we're over the crime, let's go into another pro, which is the major redevelopment. Pompano Beach is going over a major redevelopment here that's also causing massive construction, which is a really good thing for the future of Pompano Beach. If you haven't been to Pompano Beach recently or come here on vacation, they have just redone the entire pier in the entire beach area of Pompano. This redevelopment has brought a ton of new restaurants and shopping and a bunch of activities to the beach and it really has made the beach a very beautiful area. They have redone the pier in complete concrete and they made it a really nice fishing pier with covers on top of you so you don't just get baked out in the sun if you're hanging out there for the day. Now there's also all new housing and apartment communities coming all throughout Pompano Beach and they are creating a downtown area. While that's probably 10 years out, they have started construction already on some of the major areas that need redevelopment. The streets are being redone, a lot of the shopping plazas are being redone, and there's a lot of new life and money coming into the city. Now, just like we saw Fort Lauderdale, the prices start to hike up a little bit as the city gets more and more developed. I believe in the next 10 years of Pompano Beach, we're really going to start to see a price increase on housing and just overall cost of living because more people are going to want to be here when it's the center of the action. All right, now that's going to lead into our next con, which is going to be the traffic and congestion here in Pompano Beach. Now, while there also is great redevelopment, that does lead into somewhat of a con because that redevelopment in construction leads into more traffic. But that's not the only thing that causes traffic here and a majority of the traffic and congestion is gonna be caused during peak season when there's all the tourists coming from up north. Now, this may not be a huge issue for some people, especially if you live up north like in New Jersey and you already are used to a lot of traffic, you're gonna come down here and it's gonna feel somewhat the same. But to other people that hate traffic and hate being stuck on the road, or hate being in construction zones where there's big high rises getting built on a major road, you might not like it. So I'm gonna leave it as a con because overall, I don't really believe people like traffic at all. During the peak season, like I mentioned, you really will start to get a ton of congestion, especially toward the Eastern area where the beach is because most of the people when they come here to visit go to the beach to escape the winter. And now speaking of the beach, the next pro we're gonna talk about is the activities to do here in Pompano. 
Now, I've seen a lot of things online about Pompano Beach not really having much to do, and I believe a lot of these articles are written before the major redevelopment that's been happening here. Pompano Beach has a massive community park that has tons of activities, and there's always so many people at these parks. You can jog, you can walk, you can play baseball, you can play football, you can play soccer, you can play pickleball, and there's always people there in a pretty nice community here in Pompano of people that are really active and like to be at the parks. Now, in the Pompano Beach Park, there is a massive amphitheater that they hold pretty big concerts, and it's not just small little concerts in the park. They also do have pretty large concerts and pretty big names that come to town. So not only are there great parks in Pompano and amphitheaters as well, there is really great festivals that go on every year that bring a ton of tourism and that people love to go to that are local. Two of them are going to be the Seafood Festival and the Italian Festival. Those are held every year in Pompano Beach, and they really keep the community together because it's a staple here. Every year you can go enjoy these festivals with the family. It's a really nice, fun, light environment to be a part of, and it's something that if you live here, you really will get to enjoy. Another activity to do here in in Pompano Beach is of course the beach and fishing. Now the beaches here are always great and like I said they just redid everything so right before the beach on the little walk that's on Pompano is there's a ton of turf there's little shacks to get food and there also is a ton of new beach restaurants that have just been built right next to the pier and if you love fishing then you'll really love the pier in the community here in Pompano because you'll always have people to go fishing with. The pier goes really far out into the water and they have spots in the middle of the pier that open up that you could drop a fishing pole in and you can see all the different types of fish and there's bait stations right at the end of the pier. And the last thing that we're going to go into is the education system, which I'm going to put as a pro and a con. So the reason I say it's a con is because the school system here in Pompano Beach is definitely a little challenged. Most of the schools here in Pompano Beach lean to a three out of 10 when it comes to rating. But the reason it's also a pro is because Pompano Middle and Pompano High are magnet schools and selective schools that really have a higher education and are higher rated. But Pompano Beach is definitely lacking when it comes to middle and high schools as the rest of the middle and high schools are very low rated. The one thing I can say about the elementary schools here in Pompano Beach is that they are rated a little high and most of them are over a seven out of 10. So while some of the school system here in Pompano Beach is lacking and that would be on the con side, the pro side is that there are a good middle school and a good high school that you could try to get your kids into that have magnet programs. But there's also charter schools and private schools here in Pompano Beach that are very highly rated, but those come at a higher cost and it's really not public education. It's something that you're gonna have to go after, you're gonna have to apply, and you're gonna have to pay most likely a high tuition, but the education will be very high quality. So if you got any value out of this video or you appreciate the content I'm putting out, please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell as it shows me that you really enjoy what you watched. If you wanna see a playlist of everything that you need to know about South Florida, you can hit this button right here. And if you wanna see my most recent video, you can hit this button right here.